What is up guys, so something that a lot of Arrowverse seasons have in common is a season long mystery that is usually resolved near the middle of the season, for example, Zoom in Flash Season 2 and Prometheus in Arrow Season 5, and now in Arrow Season 7, a new mystery person was revealed with the new Green Arrow. With Oliver Queen in prison and the FBI keeping tabs on Team Arrow, Star City was really short on vigilantes until a non-Oliver Queen Green Arrow took to the streets, and now, as an audience, we are left to wonder who is under the mask and the hood. Episode 8 of Season 7 is actually titled Unmasked, and I'd take an educated guess to say that the new Green Arrow will be revealed or unmasked in that episode. So in this video, I will go over the top five characters who I think should be under the mask, or rather who I think could be under the mask. This list isn't really ranked by who I want to see the most to the least or, or other way around, but instead what I think is the least likely of the five until the most likely of the five, which is at number one. So with that in mind, let's start this list with number five. Number five is an Oliver Queen of another universe or possibly even Robert Queen from Earth 2 who in The Flash, I think season two, was revealed to be the Hood. So admittedly, this is kind of a filler slot as there, were, there wasn't really a more specific fifth character I could find for this list, but in alternate universe Oliver Queen or Robert Queen is still very possible to be this new Green Arrow. In the first episode of season 7 it was revealed that Green Arrow has his own list like Oliver did. I, it, it wasn't confirmed if it's the same list, but I will guess that it probably is. So Oliver had that same list in season 1, so what I would think is that this Green Arrow could be a version of Oliver Queen or Robert Queen that never learned about the true origin of the list, which in tur it turned out that Malcolm Merlin wrote the list and continued to follow it for the his entire vigilante career. I don't know why he would be on Earth 1, and I mean, that could easily be explained, but I will say this is, uh, this would be a pretty lame and probably very boring possibility for who could be under the new Green Arrow mask, but I will say it's a possibility nonetheless. Number four is one that you probably expected to be a little higher on the list, and that is William Queen from 20 Years in the Future. So since he was revealed in episode one of season seven along with the flash forwards, and then in episode two, it was kind of teased through some imagery. William Queen has been very heavily theorized to be this new Green Arrow coming back from the future to the present day. I personally think this isn't a very likely possibility and I don't really want this to happen either. The reason for that is because of uh, two things. One, William Queen being the new Green Arrow would require time travel and since the Flash is doing it to death and obviously the Legend of Tomorrow is doing it to death, I really don't want Arrow to implement time travel into its narrative and specifically when this version of time travel would be the exact same storyline they are currently doing on the Flash where the child of the main character comes back from the future and is a superhero it would be the exact same thing so I really don't want this to happen on Arrow that being said the reason William Queen is on the list at all is because he is a prevailing theory for who could be the new Green Arrow who could be under the mask it's very theorized and possibly in the flash forwards he will learn to use a bow and arrow learn to fight maybe be trained by Roy Harper in the flash forwards and then go back to the present day, so I include it on the list because a lot of people are theorizing about it, but me personally, I don't think it's very likely and I also don't want it to happen either. Number three is Roy Harper. It was revealed a couple months ago that Colton Haynes would be returning as Roy Harper in a series regular role for Arrow Season 7, and now that Season 7 is out, at least partially, it was revealed through Episode 1 that Roy's role in the season will be probably primarily in the Flash forwards along with the number four slot William Queen which I have to say is a little disappointing because seeing Roy interact with Team Arrow and fight some villains or just being Arsenal again it was one of my most anticipated things about Arrow season seven so it was a little disappointing for him to be revealed to be probably primarily focused in the flash forwards but I think it is possible that he's already doing all of those things except for being Arsenal's because months ago someone said that Roy Harper would have to deal with the consequences of Oliver's identity being revealed to the public which basically confirms that he will be appearing in the present day so what if in order to 
To have Roy in both the present day and the flash forwards, they put a mask and hood on the present day version of Roy Harper, for example, possibly the new Green Arrow, so that Colton Haynes doesn't have to act in both those storylines because his time on the show is limited to the amount of time he can actually act and the amount of time he is being paid for. So it is possible that Roy Harper will be either killed off in the flash forwards or just will become a less important character by the time he's unmasked, which is probably by episode 8 in the present day, so that the actor can have more present day screen time after episode 8, and before that it's just in the flash forwards, at least unmasked. This would explain why Roy hasn't appeared in the present day yet, despite the fact that we were told that he probably will, just going off the fact that they said that he will have to face the consequences of Oliver Queen revealing its identity, because now the public knows that he isn't the Arrow from the first three seasons. It also would make sense, because he knows how to use a bow and arrow, he knows how to fight, and he would also be my first choice for who I want to see under the hood. He's really only at number three, because even though he would be my first choice, I will admit he is not the most likely, as I say number two and one is obviously, or are obviously, a little bit more likely than Roy Harper to be under the new Green Arrow mask and hood. Number two is Barry Allen. So, uh, stick with me here, I think it is possible that this man under the mask was already revealed in some promotional material and set photos for Elseworlds, where an alternate version of Oliver Queen will be The Flash, and, more importantly for this video, an alternate version of Barry Allen will be the Green Arrow, which might have been a misdirect or even a spoiler that the new Green Arrow in Arrow Season 7 is that same Green Arrow, aka Barry Allen. This would also make sense as I think Barry Allen really fits the body size of the new Green Arrow from the times we've seen him. That being said, Roy Harper does as well, and on top of that, like I said earlier, episode 8 is titled Unmasked, which means that the new Green Arrow will most likely be unmasked in that episode, and the episode right after that is Elseworlds in episode 9, because this year they're doing something different where episode 9 is the crossover, not episode 8, but this would mean that if it is Barry Allen, then that would be a perfect segue right into Elseworlds with the next episode. This would also mean that a crossover was set up from the beginning of one of the seasons in an actual storyline, which I think would be very, very cool. The last time they did that, and really the only time they did that, was in season two of The Flash, where the Hulk Girl storyline led up to the Vandal Savage crossover event. Now, that didn't turn out to be a very good crossover event, but I do think this will be very, very different, where it's possible that this Arrow Season 7 storyline has been setting up this Elseworlds crossover from the start. That would be a very cool segue straight into the Elseworlds crossover with the end of episode 8 ending with Green Arrow being unmasked as Barry Allen, and that leads directly into the first episode of Elseworlds, which is, I think, The Flash. But uh, this would also make a lot of sense because if it isn't Barry Allen, then that would mean that they are introducing two new Green Arrows in the span of just a couple episodes, which I'm not saying is impossible, I mean it is possible that they are doing that, but it would make a lot of sense if this is Barry Allen and they're only introducing one new Green Arrow in these couple episodes, and this directly leads into Elseworlds. So that brings us to number one, who is the only character on this list that has not been confirmed to actually exist in the Arrowverse, and that is Amiko Queen, who, for those of you who don't know, Amiko Queen, or Emiko Queen, is the daughter of Robert Queen and Shadow, making her the half-sister of Oliver Queen. She's also the Green Arrow sidekick, named Red Arrow. Amiko obviously has a lot of similarities to Thea Queen. They are both Oliver Queen's half-sister, although on different sides of the parentage, and they are both Green Arrow's sidekick, who both use one of Roy Harper's previous superhero names in Red Arrow for Amiko and Speedy for Thea, and they also dress in red. Despite these similarities to Thea Queen, Amiko is most likely going to appear in Arrow Season 7, as Episode 10 of Season 7, which is now titled Shattered Lives, was supposedly originally titled My Name is Amiko Queen, which was leaked by a certain website, but the episode was seemingly renamed to Shattered Lives. Now this title leak was never actually confirmed as the original title, but the website is very credible, especially when it comes to revealing titles of the Arrowverse shows, so the episode was most likely originally titled My Name is Amiko Queen. On top of all this, episode 10 of season 7 is the first straight up non-crossover episode of Arrow following episode 8, which is like I said earlier a couple times titled 
unmasked, which would definitely work for her to be unmasked at episode 8, and then to have a whole storyline about that in episode 10. The only problem with this is 1, episode 9 is right in between those two episodes. They're really conflicting between the storyline, which crossovers have done in the past, but a really big problem with this as well is well, I actually recorded the rest of the video and the entirety of the video really before episode 4 came out. I didn't post it till now because of a bunch of reasons I won't go over here. But what I was going to say is that the green hour we saw in episode 1 does look maybe a little too large to be a Miko Queen. And maybe he looks more male than he would look female. But we did see Green Arrow again in episode 4. And in this episode, it's really hard to tell if... Green Arrow is male or female, so I don't think this would be a problem for a Miko Queen to be the new Green Arrow in this season. It's not the option I want to see the most, as the option I want to see the most is Roy Harper and then Barry Allen, but it is definitely, in my opinion, the most likely possibility out of the five. So anyway, let me know which one of these possibilities you think is the most likely in the comments down below, as well as in the poll in the top right corner of the video and if you like this video don't forget to leave a like share and subscribe and thanks for watching